Hello everyone, it's me, Vintage Gaudi. Welcome to another Advent Calendar video. Today we are in the winter sports. I want to show you a vintage 90s winter sports Barbie versus a 2022 winter sports Barbie. What are the differences, what are the similarities and so on and so on. Since now, here in Switzerland, December, winter season has started. So I, I think it's a yeah, good opportunity to show also the winter sports Barbie. <laughs> so basically, I do have two winter sports Barbie or winter sport themed dolls. I also have the ski fan Barbie. But in this case, I want to do the comparison with the modern 2022 version and the 1994 version because they got a little bit things that are quite similar to each other. <laughs> so I am starting first with the 2022 version. That's her. She's actually called not specific winter sports or so. So she is just, you can be anything. And in this case, um, that means Barbie is like a winter sports professional. <laughs> so I took her, I have her now since nearly one year in my collection. Um, I wanted to do this video last year, but somehow I missed the point. I missed the time when it was the right time to put the video together. And so I think now in December, it's the best time. <laughs> to the You Can Be Anything Barbie doll, um, that's her face. I'm not sure, is this a Millie face or so? Um, I'm really not familiar with these different face types. But I think it looks really cute. Um, her eyes, like these blue eyes, what you can tell is from the modern ones, they are like more printed on and not painted on details on the faces. So you can definitely tell, you see here the pixels from, from the eyes. So that's definitely painted on or just a sticker, I'm not sure. But definitely not, um, it's not painted on, it's printed on. <laughs> Um, to her hair, I did not wash her, I just unboxed her um, now and you can see she got this really inbox hair, but I, w I have to say the hair itself seems to be in a quite good um, quality. Of course she got some longer and stronger hair, so she not, does not have basically like a haircut or so, so she, she got some like this light blonde so on her shoulder. And underneath she got so like um, darker blonde hair. Uh, looks similar to the um, Style Magic Barbie that got also two different hair colors. But yeah, she got this inboxed hair. I need to wash her, obviously. But now to her outfit. So the You Can Be Anything Barbie doll is coming with this purple scarf around her neck. Really cute, it's all together with these plastic stripes here. I did not cut it, they're super small. And I think I leave the scarf on her like this. So <laughs> that's the reason why she's wearing it. But you can definitely open it and wear it as a separate piece. Then she comes with a jumpsuit that has a lot of different color schemes. You got like purple, salmon color, yellow, blue, I like a lot of colors and that's all separated with these white lines. It looks more like um, stars. So like, yeah, <laughs> or maybe it looks also like some similar to Kodiak signs in the stars where all is connected with lines. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool outfit. And I think it will be as a contrast to the white snow, really cool. <laughs> so imagine she's, uh, you got this vibrant, jumpsuit or vibrant ski dress and with the white snow that will be a real great contrast <laughs> totally love it um she is made on or she's put together on the made to move body so she got fully articulated in the shoulders in the elbows in the hands as well her head is also movable the torso is not movable so over here is She's stuck like this, but she can move her legs. She can, yeah, knick the, the knees and the, sh the feet itself. I'm actually not sure. No, she got, oh, 
I was assuming she has flat feet, but no, she got like this high heel feet. <laughs> but articulated is here, so you can do like different poses with her. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. This modern Barbie doll from 2022 comes with some accessories. So she comes with a pair of blue skis. Really cute. On the skis itself we got like these snowflakes. Super adorable. And she got also her, are they called ski sticks or sticks? Anyway, she got these things here um, that are in, yeah, movable plastic. And you can see one is already not even. So this got this round shape in it. And the other one is more evenly. Um, that's, I think, yeah, an issue with those plastic things. In normal life, skiing, that's not good when your ski stick looks like this. <laughs> so, <clears throat> far from the ski supplies. Then she comes also with a white helmet. Really important to protect your hair, head um, while doing some certain sports. That's super important. I'm happy they put the helmet in the packaging. She comes also with a pair of sunglasses in see-through pink color or translucent pink color. Then she got also a orangey drinking bottle, also super important. And she comes with a pair of ice skating shoes, yellow color, really cute. They look really cute. I will try them on later when I do the side-by-side -side comparison with the other doll. Then we are moving back in time <laughs> to the year 1994. Can you imagine 1994 is almost 30 years ago. So we got like a doll that is almost 30. Wow, <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm still in my head. It's like um, 1994 is like 20 years ago, but no, it's not. It's like 30 years ago. <laughs> Um, that's a sign that I'm getting old. Yeah. Um, anyways, so something special with this um, Winter Sports Barbie, so there she was called Winter Sports Barbie from the year 1994, is that she got like a similar sibling that is actually from the Hot Skating Barbie, also from the same year. So there was Hot Skating Barbie and Winter Sports Barbie. Um, I tried to research a little bit because I was always thinking they are exactly the same doll, but they are slightly, slightly different. It's just a mini, mini difference from one doll to the other, as I have found out. So I'm not sure. I think that my doll that I represent here as Winter Sports Barbie is actually the Hot Skating Barbie. The difference that I can could find at first is that the Winter Sports Barbie has this white dot as you can see here, but it's not as a dot, it's more like a, a, a stripe and it's a little bit underneath. So that's the only difference I could find. And maybe this greenish eye line here is a little bit thicker on the original Winter Sports Barbie. But otherwise the eyelashes are the same, the makeup seems to be the same, the color scheme of the eyes is the same. So that was super hard to find any differences, but they are or well, there seems to be um, slightly differences on this doll. So I think mine is now the hot skating Barbie. If you got one that has this white dot as like a little stripe, then it might be the winter sports Barbie. To the outfit, or well, actually to the doll itself, she got this long 90s hair, super soft hair, nicely to style. Then she comes with this headband. Also really cute, the face I showed you already. And she got these um, earrings in pink color. As a jacket, um, Winter Sports Barbie is wearing this jacket and I totally love it. That's such a cute jacket with pink, yellow and blue combination. And on the sleeve itself, it's like the same um, fabric as on her jumpsuit. That comes to, to her jumpsuit itself. <laughs> Vibrant colors also, so the jumpsuit goes, goes over her body, so underneath here she's wearing this jumpsuit. And um, really it is the color scheme from pink, purple, blue, orange, glitter, yellow, <laughs> white also. So a lot of colors over here and yeah, glittery. The glitter is like, um, and yeah, typical that it comes off a little bit when you 
go through the surface of the glitter. That's how it is. Also, this winter sports Barbie comes with this like um, mini skirt that you can put around it. Maybe that is the skirt that she's using for her ice skating parade. So yeah. <laughs> then she got um, knee protectors. That's also important and comes with, um, she has actually flat feet. Let me just check. I think that's the difference. Yeah, she comes with flat feet while the other one from 2022 got um, high heel feet. <laughs> to the articulation from the 1994 doll, so her head is movable, her shoulders are movable. She got also movable um, eye, uh, movable <laughs> elbows, but not movable hands. The torso is movable, that's what she got, but um, the other one not. Then her legs, obviously, and also her knees. So she got almost the same uh, moving parts as her. The only difference, she got moving parts in the hands, but not in the torso. She got the one in the torso, but not in the hands. So makes it even, <laughs> they got like quite the same movable parts. Also, this doll comes with these super cute sunglasses. Really cool, like typical 90s, yeah, the glasses. <laughs> Ski glasses, um, really cool. Then we got also a pair of skis or skis that she is coming with pink color and vibrant stickers on it, really cool. She got also pink ski sticks. Also here the same problem with the material that it is, um, yeah, plasticky, and you can see the shape of the sticks. They're not even anymore they got a little bit curved. <laughs> then the difference is also that she comes with a snowboard in uh, orange color, also vibrant stickers on it. Really cool. <laughs> and she comes with a pair of um, ice skating shoes. So that's what she comes with as far as I've seen. That means I think my doll is complete except the fact that she is not the real winter sports Barbie. At this point, I got a question for you. Did you practice winter sports as a child? And if so, are you the team skis or the team snowboards or maybe the team ice skating? <laughs> um, me as a child, I practicing firstly and mainly skiing. I did also practicing some um, ski racing. I was a year or so in a ski racing team and um, yeah, that included going with skiing, but there was also a winter season where I thought I would also go with a snowboard. So in that season I managed to do both those, so snowboard and skiing. That was my winter sport. I prefer going skiing. <laughs> That's what I think I'm, yeah, I'm the best in, skiing. And, um, but I did never do ice skating. I had, yeah, um, no intentions to do ice skating. I was more on the slopes and on yeah, <laughs> on the hills with my skis. Now I am doing the comparison from each doll, so one to one, um, what they got like similar is pretty obvious. So the similar, the most similar thing they got is the, I would say the outfit, the jumpsuit. So you can see she got also these vibrant colors. Only the color scheme is a little bit um, not so intense. So it's more like a little bit faded. While here, these are just intense colors. But otherwise, you can say this doll, the 2022 version is, I think, inspired by the 1994 version. These white stripes here, it reminds me of this glitter part. So it could totally be like the glitter part. Um, it is a jumpsuit as also the other version. But I think they got some quite um, inspirations from the 1994 to do her. And I think that's totally great. That's amazing. Obviously the faces have changed throughout the years. So um, that is obvious and it's okay. Yeah, something changes. <laughs> but um, otherwise the jumpsuit is the same and the accessories that these dolls came are pretty much the same. So we got the ski shoes. So the 1994 version are here in blue. She's wearing blue ski shoes and the modern version is wearing white ski shoes. You can see there are totally differences. 
the modern one got a little bit, um, they look like moon boots more <laughs> than like um, ski shoes. But that I think could also change. And on her white there says Barbie and we got the Barbie logo. And over here is just uh, simply blue, yeah, blue shoes, white and blue shoes. To the accessories that they got like similar are, for example, the ice skatings also. So the ice skating shoes and the ski shoes are really the same, uh, the same. They're not exactly one to one the same, but yeah, the theming is the same. So we got here the yellow ones belong to the modern doll and we got the white ones that belongs to the 90s doll. And you can see uh, there <laughs> a ski shoe is uh, as in, uh, an, an ice skating shoe is an ice skating shoe. They got little difference, but basically this here is the important thing. So you can say, yeah, they got totally like the same theme. Then what else is similar are yeah, similar. The theming is the similar is are the um, sunglasses. So while over here she got like more modern sunglasses, see throughy and this one is really like the typical 90s sunglasses. <laughs> but the theme itself is the same. Then what we have as difference is that she comes, all right, let me just show her faces. So she comes, the modern one comes with a helmet while the vintage one does not come with a helmet. As also she got um, this bottle, this drinking bottle, and I could not find if she came, the, the, if the vintage one came with a yeah, water bottle. I know that in the hot skating version there was a water bottle included, but I could not find if in the winter sports version is yeah <laughs> a water bottle included. That's to the differences. And then we got something that the vintage one has, but the modern one not. But um, that is the snowboard. So the vintage one could do like three sports, while over here she could do like two sports. Um, same things are definitely the ski sticks, they are really the same and we got also the skis. The theme of skiing is the same but they got a little bit added to the shape so the vintage one here in pink are more like this yeah, sh rough shape and the, win uh, the, no the modern one has the round shape back well that's the front over here so this is the rounder shape and this one is more like edgy <laughs> that's so far from the similarities and the difference that's are like the differences but now i would say i will put them i will try these skis on So the modern one is definitely way faster to put on the ice skating shoes and the ski shoes than the, the older version, the vintage version. And that's how they look with their ice skating zone. You can see she got like this shape of the high heels. So she's basically not, um, yeah, she's basically on her tiptoes. Where is she here? Of, on her tiptoes on the ice. Well, she is like really flat on the ice. So... <laughs> That's like a difference, but all in all, they look so cute. I'm super happy that I got her, <laughs> that I got her in my collection as a companion from my 1994 version, <laughs> because um, I definitely would say they got inspired from each other. Or well, <laughs> obviously she was first, so this doll was inspired from this doll. <laughs> what do you think about this ski sports Barbie and about the you can be anything 
2022 version of the Barbie doll? Write me down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go and check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button, follow my other advent calendar videos and we'll see us in the next time with Vintage Gaudi. Bye!